to share with you another fab beauty on a budget blue eyed look that I created by using a trio palette by Wet n Wild called I Don't Do Camouflage which looks like this right here. This palette which also had a bonus mascara in it created this eye look that you're seeing so if you want to see how to achieve this eye look right here keep watching the video and I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later babes. Hey dolls, I'm starting by shopping my stash. Yes, I'm using the Wet n Wild Trio Palette I Don't Do Camouflage with the bonus mascara that's included. So I'm going to begin by priming my entire area of the eye. I'm going to blend this all the way up into the brow bone area, being sure to blend it really, really well. And then I'm going to use my e.l.f. Duo Cream Blueberry Eyeshadow. But I'm going to use it as a base. I'm going to take that dark blue color right there. And I'm going to begin by patting this on the perimeter area of my eye, leaving the space in the center as free. And I'm just patting this on, Glam Dolls. This is not to be blended because this is going to help really make the eyeshadow adhere and blend out better. And the color and the pigmentation will stand out. I'm going back into the same cream eyeshadow and taking this silver-ish looking color right there and applying that only into the center area of the eye. Since we're using dark colors, we want to bring light back into the eyes. So here I begin by using the palette, the eyelid, and we're taking that and placing it on the eyelid. But instead, I'm just applying it in the center area of the eye to where I previously placed the silver-ish looking color as a base, but we're going to take that eyelid color and just pat it on. Once again, we're not blending yet. Going back into the palette using the color label Crease, I'm taking that and applying it into the crease, but I'm going to start off by focusing heavy in on that outer V, and then I'm going to drag it in a windshield type motion, slightly blending glam dolls, but I don't want to fully blend it out just yet. So here is where I began warming my eye up, and by doing so, I'm using my MAC Cosmetics color called Saddle Brown. My all-time fave, by the way. I'm taking this and applying it into my transitional and creased area, overlapping where I previously placed the dark blue color, because like I said, we don't want any harsh lines, but don't worry about the blue, I'm going to touch that back up by going back into the palette right there and taking the blue color that's labeled crease and reapplying it back to where it was previously placed. This is what's going to help give me that seamless transitional flow of colors without the harsh lines that would appear. Then after I finish blending this out, I'm going back into the palette with the color label Brow Bone. But this time, I'm applying it only into the center area of the eye. Since I'm using dark colors, I want to really brighten up the eye and bring light to reflect back into the eye. I don't want the look to be over dark or too smoky, so this is what's going to help by using that brow bone color. Now I'm going to take a clean blending brush, Glam Dolls, completely clean, and this is where we begin to blend. Blend. Blend some more. Blend again and blend to avoid having any harsh lines. Here is where I begin using my Rimmel Nude Eyeliner. I'm using this nude eyeliner to help brighten up my waterline because I'm using a lot of dark colors. I don't want my eye look to look overly smoky and this is going to help with that. Now I'm going back into the palette, mixing the crease and the eyelid color together. And here is where I begin smoking out underneath that waterline to where I previously placed the nude eyeliner. I'm just going to blend it as I'm smoking it out underneath the waterline. And then I'm going to go back to the palette and use the matching mascara that was the bonus that came along with it. I'm going to take this mascara and apply that on my lower lash line only. And now I'm moving into my face. Yes, my fave part, my Philips Milk of Magnesia Glam Dolls. And if you are an official Glam Doll to this channel, then you already know I live, swear, and breathe whatever, everything I can think of about this. Yes, this is what helps to keep me with a mattifying look all day long. There's plenty, plenty of videos on YouTube all about it. So now I'm using my e.l.f. Tone Correcting Under Eye Concealer. I use this concealer to first define underneath my eyes from where I previously spoke it out. And I also use it to tone correct underneath my eyes and dog. And I use it with my Dollar Tree Beauty Sponge and my Avion Water Spray to moisten it. Yes, I take the sponge and I begin to blend it out. And this is what's going to help prepare my eye for my HD Pro Concealer. Yes, that tone correcting concealer really helps the Pro Concealer to pop out that much better. So now here's my all-time fave, never going to go without. So glad I found Avon Magiette's Foundation. 
Oh God, this thing was only $6. It's down in the description box below. I have a full video all about it. It's perfect for the summer and it really, really leaves your skin uber, 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 uber soft. Yes. And I just took the tone correcting concealer, put a little bit of it back to my eyes. That's because I'm getting ready to prep for my Ben Nye Banana Powder. And here is where I guess you call this baking. Yeah. I'm just applying it underneath the areas of my eye and then I'm allow one minute for it to set and then I'm going to take my foundation brush with whatever residue is on it and I'm going to gently just dust away any residue of the powder that was left and this is what's going to help again avoid having any demarcation and harsh lines. So here's where I begin to use my favorite blush by Milani Cosmetics called Rose de Rio which is down in the info box below followed by my Fergie Hollywood Boulevard highlighter. Yes, watch how this highlights my cheekbones. Look at that right there. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh. It's down in the description box below because this is so hard to find, but I did find it for you in case you're interested in it. I have a link down in the description box below that will take you directly to where I keep getting them from. So now that I'm highlighting my cheekbones, I'm going to take my foundation brush, again, whatever residue is on it, and just begin to blend out again. So as I apply my lipstick and lip gloss, this concludes my look. Not bad for $3. Don't forget to let's stay connected. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And visit the MissGlamourAddict.com website for more blog posts. And I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later, babes.